What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the animated series. So, the animated series, Invincible, is like any other cartoon we've been watching since we were small. Superman, Young Justice, the Justice League and the rest. It's basically about a boy, Matt Grayson, whose father is an alien from another planet, Joshua. The man has sworn his allegiance to Earth to protect Earth from extraterrestrial dangers and even internal dangers. He, but they do not know the man's true mission. So, Invisible is basically about the boy Magrissi coming of age and getting his powers and then discovering the truth about his dad, learning how to be a superhero. I'm going to analyze each episode one by one from episode one to eight and at the end of each analysis I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about that particular episode. That's just basically how I'm going to do this video. So the opening scene of Invisible, Invincible is when the Guardians of the Globe, that is the superheroes of their Earth, are fighting two twin villains or clone brothers, however you wish to call them. They win the fights almost easily because they have to save the civilians and everything. Focus on Evan. Now, the Viltrumites, that's where Invincible Dad is from and where he's half biologically from. Their powers don't kick in at birth like Kryptonians. Their powers kick in when they turn 18, that is, in their teenagers. So, at this point in the movie, is where Invincible is turning 18. So, he's like every regular high school guy. Is not very strong. He's actually a handsome guy though, but he's picked on by bullies and stuff, and his powers haven't kicked in yet. So he's just basically waiting for them to kick in. On one occasion, he confronts a bully that is harassing a girl that he feels he should save. Meanwhile, the girl wasn't even begging for his help, and the bully beats the shit out of this guy. But not too long after, his powers kicked in. So his powers just kick in like. Even though it was expected for the powers to kick in, it was kind of unexpected because he was doing something that didn't even concern adrenaline rush or sweet. Something very nice happened. The bully confronted him again and he didn't beat the bully. He just left and let everything slide. It was very, very tempting. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the episode 1, the guardians of the globe are summoned to their headquarters. They are not really sure who summons them. They begin to ask each other who does this, who did this, who summoned all of us, and they are just so confused. And all of a sudden, Invisible that shows up and kills every one of them in a very bloody and stimulating way like for you. Like he butchers them like someone who was angry with his goods during an event and he said all you goods must die. That was exactly what he just so, for what I like about episode 1 is the way he gets his power. We are used to the regular way people get their powers. When they kidnap your girlfriend or someone is trying to hurt your mom or someone slaps you and takes your bike or this thing. His was just natural. So in episode 2, Ed gets attacked by some weird strange aliens. Like, they are so annoying and they speak a very stupid language. But their persistence is just what makes them very pesky and annoying. So Mark tries to do some superheroing as some good as usual. He fails, let me just put this straight, because he isn't even able to protect any of the humans there apart until a new set of heroes just arrive. The person who stopped them was invisible that Omni Man, the sole protector of Earth, as usual. He destroyed their destinies. That is exactly how I'm going to put it. You don't seem to understand. Earth isn't yours to conquer. Things get a little bit interesting in episode 3 because Invincible gets a girlfriend. You remember the girl he stood up for in episode 1 and took some punches for? He starts dating her. 
So his superpowers are getting he's getting more proficient with using his superpowers and he fights a villain with atomic Eve. Surprisingly, the villain was quite at it. Well, what I love about episode three, number one was Rex ass kicking. Rex is the guy who uses the explosives. Girl. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's adorable. Did you just see that? Do you see the way he took the punch and his mask and his makeup, everything just went out? And then the second punch removed his teeth. He spat them out like. So episode 4 features a weird opening scene with too many unanswered questions. Also, Invincible's mom, we haven't talked about her before. She is the wife of Omni Man, of course. She knows that he's a superhero and she believes he's the protector of Earth. She begins to suspect that Omni Man killed the Gathers of Blue. So, in episode 5, things start getting a little bit interesting. He beats up a gangster, and the gangster asks for his help to defeat a major crime boss called Machine Head. In fact, the fight is just so bad that the team team arrives to help and they also collect their bits of them. So what I like about episode 5 basically is the speech pattern of Machine Head is just very hilarious and creative. Yo, he talks. You'll see it very soon. It's just very nice. I know where your family lives, and that means you work for me until I say you're fucking done. So in episode six is when everything begins to heat up, and then the real secret about Omni Man killing the guardians of the group starts coming out. So in episode seven, things get heated up legit. First of all, the wife of Omni Man, that is Invisible's mother, confronts Omni Man about his killing the guardians of the globe. The body in charge of superheroes now goes after Omni Man. That just becomes basically a war between Omni Man and then the agents in charge of superheroes. So in episode eight, Invincible witnesses his dad, that is Omni Man, killing Immortal. Now, for any normal child, he was really confused. He was thinking that his dad was being controlled by someone, so he was like, who's in your head, dad, who's in your head? His dad was like, it's me, Mark. And his dad explains his true mission on planet Earth to his son. He's a Viltrumite conqueror here to prepare Earth for his people. But he pulls that as a superhero to gain their trust, blah, blah, blah. And Invisible just doesn't believe that his dad is that evil, and he begins to fight his dad and stuff. Episode 8 was basically the bloodiest. Omni Man went on the kill streak and killed up to a thousand human beings. What will you have after 500 years? Oh, you, Dad. I still have you. That is basically how Invincible survives that particular fat battle. So, one thing I don't like about Invincible is the derivatory characterization all the characters in invincible are basically just copies of dc's characters the aquaman the wonder Woman. in fact they just photocopied the justice league or should i say the young justice and it's so messed up even the major investigator is answering damien dark blood like that's literally damien dark from dc Another, the main thing I love about Invincible, like the whole of Invincible animated series, is the unpredictability and the uniqueness of the storyline. We expected everything to be the regular um, superhero crap where he dates the beautiful girl and the dad was being controlled by some mastermind supervillain. But, but it turned out that the dad killed the guardians of the globe out of his own free will. And then I will never forget Omni Man's mercilessness and bloodiness. That guy deserves credit for, should I say, a horror superhero of the century or of the decade. He's very, very good at smashing people's scores. Like, I'm going to compile most of them for you guys. So, thank you very much for this video. This is the end of my review of Invisible. Don't forget to leave your comments, like, and subscribe, and also share the video if you like it.
what? Don't forget, you're on.